Now, as we've discussed, there are many, many different factors that can be at play when you're trying to influence or persuade someone. And a lot of them have to do with language. It could be your choice of words, it could be your tone of voice, it could be the speed at which you're talking, it could be the volume or the pitch. Just those things alone can, can play a big difference in whether you are successful or not. Some other things you want to think about are things such as logic, uh, logic, facts and figures and statistics. Uh, you want to think about using emotions, trying to get people to associate a specific emotion with your product or service. Now, of course, you want to do this in an ethical way, and we're always going to talk about ethical strategies. But there are ethical ways to make people feel good about dealing with you, about using your product, about using your service, about being the person that is benefiting from your product or service, right? There's also credibility and authority, which is really important. If you are a credible person, if you're honest and authentic, if you're believable, well, people will buy from you more or use your products or services more. There is just proven. Now, there are some other things that we're going to talk about in Elite Persuasion Academy, such as psychological triggers. We're going to talk about the three dimensions of your prospect's mind. That is really, really cool. Uh, we're going to talk about some different other things, such as facial expressions and body language, uh, just hand gestures, crossing of legs, crossing of arms, um, all kinds of different things that, that come to play in verbal and nonverbal communication. So check out Elite Persuasion Academy and you will learn a lot more about each of these subjects. This is Dr. Lawrence J. Clark signing off from the Monsanto Mountains in northern New Mexico.